I wasn't sure how I wanted to tackle the steering on this conversion. Either source and rebuild this 50 year old setup or continue the trend of reusing as much as possible from the leaf. Guess which direction I'm going. Here are the two steering arrangements. The leaf steering box. Well, this is the power steering component of it, but it's about the same length. I'm gonna see what I can do to fit it in there. Here's the scrap from the plasma cutter. Here's the hole. You can see it's pretty darn close. It just conflicted right there mostly. Here's the inside view, kind of bolted up right where the existing was. And I have, you know, it's on the swivel for the uh, adjustable height. I just need to mount the actual box through that hole there. Here's the linkage output, and it has the ability to compress pretty deeply. If I can get things lined up right. It can compress and extend, and now I just need to figure out how to mate it to the original input. Mating the VW stuff to the cut down VW rod and I'm gonna weld. Getting ready to mount the actual power steering box, but this is just driving me nuts. Look at that rot. Here we go, got the steering box mounted up and got that rust out. And welded up a little bit of sheet metal. It's definitely kind of hokey, but it's super strong. Here's the steering box mounted up. It's no longer able to tilt, but it is very solid. The power steering is so nice. One finger steering. I need to clearance a couple spots that rub with suspension flex, but this is a huge improvement in comfort and safety. Now I can just plug in the controls for the lights, horn, and other leaf goodies. Maybe even cruise control and wipers someday. Some folks may not dig the aesthetics, but I don't think it looks too shabby. Nothing about this car screams original, so I don't feel bad about using this wheel. A way better feel as well. Next, let's take a deeper dive into the wiring. I had a great time building this harness. Super fun to learn something new and try to integrate as much as possible from the leaf. I'll see you guys in the next one.